When you're deep in your project, it's easy to miss out on tools that could help you get things done faster and better. So today I went out into the webs and found some amazing generators you might have missed while being busy being awesome. Starting with traffic, one of the largest, if not the largest, car collections for Blender, it just got a fresh new update. On top of the massive lineup of cars you already get, this update brings fully detailed interiors. And I mean detailed. If you want to get up close, these cars aren't camera shy. You can place your camera anywhere you want, including inside. All the doors open, everything is modeled, so when you need a close-up shot or an interior render of a Tesla, a Benz, a bus, or any other vehicle, this is the library you check first. Working on a project can be stressful, and in our line of work, one of the best stress relievers is having someone give you a hand. Imagine someone doing part of the modeling for you, handling the texturing, sourcing materials, and applying them to your models. So all you have to do is focus on the staging and the imagination behind the final render. Since hiring an assistant is way too expensive for most of us, check out Evermotion. They've got some of the best asset collections around. This particular one is a collection of urban buildings and modern cities, and every project is ready to render. You get buildings, trees, shops, businesses, basically everything you need to make your scenes feel alive. If you're working on an animation and need to add some slow motion, this one's for you. It's called Time Master. And yeah, it does exactly what it sounds like. It slows down time. You can select animated characters, set the moment you want the super slow motion to kick in, choose how slow it should be, and that's it. Watch your action unravel in bullet time slow motion with just a few clicks. And it's not just for characters. Time Master also works with cloth simulations, RBDs, particle sims, dynamic paint, and pretty much anything that can be animated. One of the most time-consuming parts of working in Blender doesn't even happen inside Blender. It's finding textures. Every scene can easily use a handful, and if you're still digging through folders trying to find the right ones, you're wasting a lot of time and, and creative energy. This mega asset collection solves that. It includes over 5,000 materials, PBR textures, and HDRIs, all directly accessible from inside Blender. What I love most is the interface. You don't have to mess around with complicated node setups just to tweak a material. The add-on shelf gives you all the parameters and settings you need, so you can make changes without ever opening a single material node. Companies love their logos, and one thing they love even more is seeing them animated. Logo animations are a common request, and if you land a gig like that and need to turn a flat logo into 3D, check out this add-on. It can trace almost any logo into a clean 3D version. Just drop in a vector file or even an image, and you'll get a 3D traced extrusion in seconds. No need to manually model anything. Now you can jump straight into animating and wow your clients with those sweet, polished logo reveals. We all know modeling with Booleans is one of the fastest ways to create complex shapes, but the downside has always been the messy topology that comes with it. That's where BQR Boolean Quad steps in. This add-on handles all your usual mesh Boolean operations, subtract, union, intersect, but with clean, quad-based topology as the result. No cleanup needed. And as the cherry on top, it automatically UV unwraps the mesh for you. It's also a solid tool for remeshing models that have bad topology, helping you keep the original shape, maintain sharp edges, preserve holes, and end up with clean, production-ready geometry. One of the best things about working with curves is how easily you can change the subdivisions even after modeling. But when it comes down to it, meshes are usually the best and sometimes only way to model most objects. This new add-on brings the flexibility of curves to meshes. It lets you resample your mesh so you can easily add or reduce subdivisions on any selected part. That means more control, less frustration, and a smoother workflow. But it doesn't stop there. It also comes with extra tools like Unknot, which helps redistribute vertices when they cross over each other, especially after beveling, plus smoothing operators and gone subdivision, mesh optimization, and more. Roads are one of the best visual cues for telling a story without saying a word. A clean, smooth road can suggest order, progress, or even the present day. But crack it up a little, throw in some potholes, broken edges, maybe even a chunk missing entirely, and suddenly you've got history. You've got decay. You've got a story of something that went wrong, or maybe something that used to be right. 
Uh, that's why roads are such a powerful way to show how much time has passed or how much destruction has taken place in an area. And thank God there's now a tool that lets you create exactly that kind of visual storytelling without spending hours modeling by hand. The destroyed road generator is built for these kinds of scenes. Whether you're working on an environment that's been through an earthquake, a high-speed chase gone wrong, a superhero-level showdown, or even a full-blown post-apocalypse, this tool helps you drop in realistic, damaged roads in no time. We're talking about cracks, debris, broken pavement, missing chunks, everything you'd expect in a place that's been through hell. What makes it even more powerful is that it's all procedural. You're not locked into a single look. You've got full creative control over the type of road, the size of the damage, and how intense or subtle you want the wear and tear to be. So whether your scene needs just a few cracks to hint at aging infrastructure or full-on destruction to sell the aftermath of chaos, this generator has your back. And because it's procedural, you can tweak and iterate until you find the perfect balance without ever having to start from scratch. If you're taking the Houdini course for Blender artists, you'll be glad to hear there's been a content update this week. A brand new section just dropped covering RBD simulations in Houdini. Um, you'll dive into the process of fracturing geometry and setting up rigid body simulations, including how to emit debris and fragments dynamically. And coming soon, there's even a lesson on how to render everything directly inside Houdini, so you can keep your entire destruction workflow in one place without jumping between apps. For those taking the Master Geometry Nodes course, there's a new trailer out now showcasing all the latest sections just dropped on Top Channel 101's YouTube. Uh, go give it a watch and see if you missed anything in the recent updates. And if you haven't checked out the course yet, this is a great time to jump in. There should be a link in the video description waiting for you. And those were some fresh generators for new professionals that you might have missed. Thanks for watching and keep creating awesome stuff.